Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. In this video, we're gonna be sawing some long two by eights out of a pine log. And in the next video, I'll be doing some two by tens out of this log right here. If you have any questions from this video, ask them and I'll include the answers in the following video. We're gonna start getting the mill set up and then saw the lumber. Right now, the head of the mill is raised high in the building to keep it dry from any wind that would blow rain in. So I'm gonna get it lowered down, tension up the blade while the engine is warming up. We are ready to go when I fire up the mill. The first thing I'll be doing is rotating the log to where I can establish my first cut. I'll flatten that out, rotating at 90 degrees, cutting as I go, working my way until I have a four-sided, just square beam, basically. And then I will start taking the two by eights out of that. But getting down to that square beam, my normal thing is to take one inch boards as I go, and then I use those. You can see them laying here for things like all those purlins and sheathing the roof on that upper part. These are the controls of the sawmill as well as the set works and then the screen that keeps up with turning the mill on and off, temperature, hour meter, and tachometer. Um, so the controls are sticks for the hydraulics. You've got the guide roller, that's an electric motor. It's got a, a electric clutch just like a lawnmower and then it's got this uh, twisting valve over here. So when you're moving the mill forward, you hold this and then you can control this to control its speed. When you want it to come back, you just pull back. The first step is raising the cutter head to where the blade clears the log the full length. Then you hit set return, make sure your board thickness is set to the board thickness that you want, and hit auto down. When you hit auto down, it comes down, in this case, one inch. And then so usually I'll hit one inch a few times, take my first cut, when the blade clears the log, hit auto up, comes up to that set return point, and then you bring the mill back. Once it's back, hit auto down, comes down to the next one inch cut. So that makes it extremely handy. You can program in multiple different thicknesses and switch back and forth between them. You can do it while you're cutting. Um, it's, it's very handy. It's, auto, it's automatic, but you still, of course, have to keep up with what you're doing. The log is squared up. It is eight inches in this dimension. So now I'll start taking two by eights out of it, setting the computer set works to two inches, cutting down, getting all I can out of this log.
Last thing to do is get these stacked up. Before we do that, I got five full size and then the bottom one is inch and three quarters. All I need is 18 feet, which is coming to somewhere around right in here. So this portion here with bark makes no difference and right down there, it makes no difference strength wise. Keep in mind, these are two inches thick, not inch and a half like store-bought. The bottom one at inch and three quarters, I think of that as skinny, but still again, thicker than store-bought. Um, these are gonna be used as uh, the sort of the hip rafters going off the back corner of the building and maybe one over here. And then I'm thinking the, uh, what do you call it? The the band joist? I don't know if you call it that on, on that uh, um, kind of wrapping from pole to pole that the uh, rafters of the lean-tos will sit on, I'm not sure. But yeah, nice lumber. Go and go ahead and get it stacked and stickered and start drying. There's the final result, six two by eights, and then you can see I've got a bunch of two by sixes. Over here, some two by fours and two by tens. All this is gonna get stacked on top of this to keep all the stacks kind of weighted down. But uh, that's all for now. Hope you all enjoyed the process. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll include that in the next video.